Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am back and I'm here to actually add some more details to a video I did years ago. It's still sad to this day. YouTube is not listening to me and said when I said, hey, I have a separate YouTube channel. I would like to have it back because you guys did some crazy stuff. They still say no. It's still kind of funny that that video over there did good, but when I uploaded a video here, it didn't do so much. It's kind of weird. I wish I had that channel back, but it's lost forever. It is a part of this, but I don't get to actually do extras or upload any new videos over there. Okay, so the video I'm in question is what happened to the season six of Spider-Man, the animated series. Okay, so the stuff that I already knew was that Margaret Losch, Losch I think it's Losch, and Avi Arid had an argument. And that argument ended Spider-Man, and it turns out it ended more than just Spider-Man. So it turns out that this argument, or whatever Avi Arid did, because I'm pretty sure Avi Arid is not innocent. He has done so much stuff that it's like... He is not innocent. He did something to Margaret. We don't know what, but he did something to infuriate her. Who knows? Maybe this could actually be something very light. And it's like she could have just been a bigger woman, been a bigger person, and actually continued on with the series. But considering we know what Avi Arid do has done. He has done so much to Spider-Man that, of course, he did something messed up. So Margaret Loesch hated him so much that she got Spider-Man canceled and she closed the doors of Marvel Studios. Yes, she hated him so much that she wanted to take and get rid of everything he owned. So you can understand that this, he had to have done something to make her this upset. She, he had to have done something, and we don't know. And just for those who actually are tuning in, this is what happened. That will make you say, yes, he's done something. This is the same man who actually said that Madam Web should be cut from the series because no one would want to actually buy a female character figure. And to this day, that figure is sought after the most. <laughs> yes. I mean, this is the same guy who said that. So there has to be something that he did to cause this. And of course, special thanks to Mr. Sunday Movies because I haven't brushed up on the usual things I usually look up. I've been busy doing some teaching stuff and instructor stuff. But even so, the interesting part is what was part one and part two of season six. What I knew, that part one was they're looking for Mary Jane. Mary Jane turned out to be in the past in England. And Carnage will become Jack the Ripper. Or take the title of Jack the Ripper. So Spider-Man has to defeat him and rescue Mary Jane. One thing I did not know is that Mary Jane would also have amnesia. Hmm. Two, the thing that I didn't know. Is that the second part of the series would actually deal with, I think there might be even a third part, but that I do not know. The Insidious Six would return. Hey, um, Norman Osborn would also find a way to get out of the prison that he made himself in. But considering he has the, he actually has the device, that means that of course he can fix it and come back. Of course he can. So he comes back, he gets the Insidious Six back together, and here we go with another unbelievable thing. So that's what occurred. That would have that's what would have happened. The good news is that unlike what happened with Spider-Man Unlimited, we'll talk about that in a minute. In 2018, three years ago, one writer of the show released what will happen when Peter finds Mary Jane. So he actually gave us a script. And adapted it maybe into a story of what happens next to where Peter is reunited with Mary Jane. Bittersweet. Bittersweet. 
I could talk about the future, but I'm going to talk about that in one short second. First things first, Saban's wanted to actually have a Marvel show. So since Marvel Studios, or I think that's what it was called, got taken down, the division that Avi Arid had, the animation department, they were able to actually get themselves a Spider-Man TV show. Now, one thing that might be debunked, be bunked right now, but we'll still have to ask questions is the fact of Avi Arid saying, no, there can only be two Peters. Because there was one show they pitched, which was before this other one, which I got to talk about that one second. But this one was a story of where there's two Peters in a TV show. One Peter is Venom and the other one is our hero. And he's supposed to save this other Peter, which technically is a ripoff of what happened in the last episode of Spider-Man anime series. It's kind of funny that I'm now thinking about it. I'm like, yeah, I don't think that actually is real. So here is the first thing that really needs to be talked about is they were planning on doing Spider-Man 2099. They have a pilot from what I've heard. They did have a pilot and we don't know to this day where the pilot is. Well, we found out where the pilot is, allegedly, because it was made by Saban's, right? So Saban's actually got their own TV show and they're trying to figure out what show they can do. They chose, of course first spider-man 2099 but batman beyond came so they had to cancel it the interesting part is like where's the pilot now could be with Jaime Sabans, could be with some Sabans executive i would say now if everything archived was on fox kids it most likely is with disney and still is with disney which means disney has it somewhere in their files that's kind of a thank goodness, but also a kind of sad thing of where it's like, yeah, so if anyone does try to actually put it online, Disney will take it down as fast as possible. Uh, but hey, at least if it does exist, we do know where it is in Disney's hands slash Marvel Studios hands. That's kind of good. As for Spider-Man Unlimited, I do have to admit, though. Maybe Avi Arid was in the room because, well, someone had to have made the toys and I think it was still Toy Biz who was making the toys. So he still has a seat at the table. So it's sort of debunked of the two Peter Parkers thing. That's sort of debunked. And sadly, Toy Biz did not even release any single figure. <laughs> they were doing fair ratings, but I'm pretty sure maybe Avi Arid might have some issues because he just got his show canceled, his studio got taken away from him. Of course, he'll have some issues where it's like, yeah, I'm not going to make your damn ass toys. I'm not going to actually do this shit. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And it's like, yeah, that does make sense that the reason why we didn't have the toys is not because of the ratings. The ratings was fair. It was good. It was most likely because Avi Arid had still freaking issues with what was going on with his world. And I'm shocked that Margaret wasn't able to take down Toy Biz as well because she wanted to take down everything he kind of loved. So she took down Marvel, but I guess she didn't have enough power to take down Toy Biz. But Toy Biz did get taken down in 2006 and got absorbed by Hasbro. So Hasbro does Marvel toys. So Toy Biz does not even exist today, but I don't think it's all thanks to Margaret. I mean, does she have the power? She might have. Wouldn't she actually gloat about it if she did that? I'm pretty sure she would, but we don't have any evidence of anything. So, so what about the future? Well, the future has to be like this. The good news is that we're still getting new toys of the animated series, which that's awesome. Kind of. The only messed up part is that we're still to this day don't have Spider-Man unlimited series i mean spider-man unlimited we don't have any toys still to this day of the suit or anything which i'm like come on hasbro but there is a small little hope though because if they were able to bring back x-men then i'm pretty sure they could even bring back spectacular spider-man or even crazier spider-man the animated series as for spider-man unlimited I heard what they had planned, and I kind of don't want to be a part of it. It's like, yes, the first... Sorry. Stupid, man. It's like stupid. Okay, anyways. 
the first part of season two was good, but the second part was kind of like a little bit boring. Yeah, it's like I would prefer just having the last episode be released of Synoptic being taken down. Peter saves the day. Spider-Man saves the day. And we're good from there. It's like, yeah, I would finally just I'll be cool with that. But uh, I guess technically we do need to see Spider-Man return. So it's kind of like for me, iffy on the part of where it's like, do I really want to have season two finally be done? It's like, eh. I would like him to at least be free of the Synoptic. Get him out of that cliffhanger, please. <laughs> <clears throat> it's like yeah it's sad that every single spider-man show known to man from the 1990s all the way to this day except for of course spider-man ultimate spider-man they all ended sadly every single one of them ended sadly that's the parker love for you anyways i'm wiping out what do you guys think about this peace <laughs>